nagpapatuloy at nagbabagang aksyon dito sa Phil Oil Climb V-Center. Bulik laban dito sa preliminary round sa Premier Volleyball League. And we have the Cool Smashers taking on the Perla Spikers. Perla Spikers hoping to secure an outright semi-finals berth. Pero pinahihirapan sila ng Cool Smashers. Pwede mong sabihin, walang pakisama itong Cool Smashers. <laughs> Gustong mandamay. Marami ang nagsasabi, Misery Loves Company. Marami rin ang hindi naniniwala dyan. Una ang Perla Spikers. Pero para sa Cool Smashers, wala silang ibang tinitignan kundi may sama itong Perla Spikers sa quarterfinals. Look at the comparative numbers. Plus 5 sa attack points ang Cool Smashers. They also have better defense sa net. At mas meron pa silang service ace kumpara sa Perla Spikers. And if they, commit, if they committed two more unforced errors eventually, definitely they played much better than the Perla Spikers. Started with an 8-4 lead na hindi na nila pinayagang maagaw ng Cool Smashers hanggang sa dulo ng first set. Mukhang uh, kailangan sabayan ng Perla Spikers itong energy ng ating kasama si DJ Tronix. Overflowing with energy here inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. At ito yung, uh, I think we have, we have some power smashers here. Si Nitin Galang, uh, Kat Villegas, and... Uh, from the Lady Warriors. From the Lady Warriors naman, si Shola Alvarez. Of course, uh, who comes from the JRU Levy yes. Bombers. And happy birthday nga pala sa ating commissioner. Yeah! Tony Boy Dao, happy birthday, sir. Mula sa unang araw ng V-League hanggang sa unang uh, edition ng... Uh, Premier Volleyball League. The men behind the uh, Sports Vision, of course. Sila Sir Wiki Palu, Boy Martellino, and of course, Tony Boy Liao. Parang, scores one. Pahimik masyado ang Perla Spikers, no? Yes, they're playing, but yes, player, somehow, Kutika, how you want yes, to see the connection, more connection. At baga celebrate at least a point. Nagsasalita naman yung kanilang reinforcement. But the locals also have to do their share and articulate what, what, uh, what's on their minds. And Zihar Vasho has his plate good. Oh, hindi ko lang kung may sakit, kung may iniinde, or talagang uh, ito yung rotation nila for today's match. Meron kuali, I think, si Zihar Vasho. And uh, I think he's got her jacket on. Alam mo naman yung pagod ng mga players natin. Although they're coming from a, a uh, break sa isang play date, nabihira natin wow. nakikita. Parang ano to eh, kumpara, comparable sa ultra marathon eh. Diba, umagat ang haligabi, tumatakbo ka. They play on a Thursday, they play on a Saturday, they play on a Sunday. And some teams still play on a Tuesday. You have to be able to hurt all those roadblocks. And do a place in the semis outright. Ito ang Perlas, naglaro nung uh, Sabado at Tunggo. Valdez. And she will get the point there. Sabi nga ni Coach Roger Gorayev ng Water Defenders, talagang uh, patay kung patay, patay and lose. And you have to be able to come out on top, on top dahil uh, Sayang yung pagkakataon, mas mahirap manalo ngayon. Kasi nga dyan yung mga reinforcements eh, kaya napakahalaga. Yung unang apat na sunod na panalo ng water defender, yun yung puhunan nila eh. Ashimoto. Kupia Inc. That drops in. Parang nagulat si Laura Schalt na nahulog pa paloob yun. Kupia Inc. continues to be the leading scorer para dito sa Perla Spikers. Pero kailangan may makatulong sa kanya na local player para dito sa Black Shirts. Kat Persola, sumakong loud of sports science. Nung binabasa ko, isa lang nasabi ko eh. Wow! <laughs> Hashimoto. Shout. Cabanos. Valdez. She gets no roof by Carlos and Persola. Kapuna natin ang ating kasamang si Ira Pablo. Anton and Ronnie, nakausap ko kanina ang import ng Cool Smashers na si Laura Shout, And she said she is enjoying her first time playing here for PBL. Tinanong ko naman siya kung ano ang paboritong Filipino food niya. At sinabi niya ang paborito niya ay pancit, adobo, halo-halo at sisig. This Oregon University player said that her original sport was basketball but she said that her built was better for volleyball dahil hindi daw masyadong malaki ang kanyang katawan para maglaro bilang center para sa basketball. Akala daw niya, basketball na talaga ang magiging sport niya dahil Olympic medalist din ang kanyang rina. But she found her passion here in volleyball. In fact, before flying back to Oregon, she has a week-long volleyball clinic in Lavia, Finland. So her heart is really here in volleyball. Anton and Ronnie? Wow. 
Very busy itong si Laura Shout. Sa akin naman ng ton, eh, pagpatuloy lang niyang kumain ng pansit, halo-halo si Sig. <laughs> Lalaki ang katawan niya rito sa Manila. <laughs> Di ba, kombinasyonin mo yon Sarap. <laughs> ano unahin mo nun? Si Sig ba, halo-halo, pansit. Parang maganda ata yung... Uh, ano unahin mo to? Si Sig. Si Sig na mo. <laughs> Ako, sabay-sabay na. <laughs> Kita niya nakaabang si uh, Amanda Villanueva sa cross court na palo. Pinantahan pa rin niya yung angulong yun, pero mas maiksi yung palo niya. Leading scorers, leading tandem scorers para sa ating dalawang teams. Right now, we're tied at 4 all two straight points. Kinuha rito ng cool smashers, but they surrendered the lead once again sa Perla Spikers. A former triple jumper. Itong uh, si Laura Shout played four years yes, in the Division okay. One of the U.S. NCAA. Considers her greatest achievement in volleyball being the year when they reached the Sweet 16 at NCAA. Di madali yun. You're talking about the whole nation. Of course, of course. Para makapasok ka lang dun eh, napakahirap na. Service. Yeah, the service ace. Two straight points for him and uh, the Perla Spikers. For an all important win that will propel them direct to a spot in the semis. Bupia ain't shaking her head after sending that one short. Now, Perlas uh, can't continue playing this way. Yung ayon na patroch rani kulang sa mga communication and maybe even the energy. Definitely, hindi pagod dahil bisan na naglaro ng huling play date. So Smashers also comes up with their own version of an ace courtesy of Eliza Valdez. Sabi natin Valdez, 187 points setting to today's match. But more than that, she's also the number one spiker in terms of attack efficiency. At of course, maging sa top servers, number two itong si Eliza. At maging sa listahan na pinakamahusay sa digs, nasa top three itong si Eliza Valdez. Yung huling service ace ni Eliza, that was her 20th service ace. Here in the reinforced conference. Di pa ganong naglaro yan. Doon sa huli nilang laban. Played sparingly, only scored two points. Ginamit siya pang depensa. Ginamit sa dulo. Subalit hindi rin kumana. Dahil naunahan sila dun sa fifth set ng water defenders. Carlos, dami no? Parehong team. Coach Ronnie, because uh, we've, we've had two upsets already. Dito, uh, ma, yung, yung lower ranked teams getting wins. It's a right. play date ng uh, preliminary round. So, dalawang kidlap na tumama ngayon sa Phil Oil Flying the Arena. Gusto ng tatluhin ng Cole Smashers, pero sa ngayon, Anton, lamang na ang Perla Spikers. Magpapalik po, PVL, dito lang sa SNA. The fan match is brought to you by Ribisco, making delightful moments possible anytime, anywhere. The big face cutouts always present whenever the cool smashers play. So the support ang kanila mga fans na nakahot pick ngayong summer. End of the first technical time. Di ko pa kasi nasubukan yun. At magsuot ng hot pick. Baba ang pagkamala na kong pedestrian crossing ito pag ginawa ko yun. Sobrang standout. Oo. Oh. Gutika. Gutika. Down the line. 8 all. 26-point output in their last loss. Laban sa water defenders. Trying to pick up where she left off. Trying to combine with Laura Shaw to propel their offense. To get better Alex here Kamas. in second set. Absolutely. After a dominant uh, offensive performance. It's a unang set na panalo laban dito sa block shirts. And Perla Spikers. Romanos. Starting this rally, Kupia, Hashimoto, Rakakimos, yes. Shout, De Jesus. Villanueva from Hashimoto could not get through. Four block points for Nora Shout in their last game. As I mentioned earlier, naniniwala ko, kaya pa niya ng mas marami. Nalunod si Amanda Villanueva dahil nakapayong itong si Colin Bravo at si Nora Shout, the two tallest players in the roster ni Coach Tyson. to eight now in favor of the cool smashers sharp serve by alex cabanos villanueva a lot of opportunities given to her dito sa labrador 
Samantha oh, Laura Shout yeah, yeah. from her favorite spot. Ten to eight. Two straight points. Spiker. Right, two straight points for uh, the reinforcement from North America. Isang uh, block point at isang uh, puntos mula sa kanyang palo. I was reading an article Nine about Alex Cabanas earlier. Meron pala siyang kapatid na special. At yung kurso niya, na para matulungan din yung kapatid niya, extra close sa kanyang kapatid itong si Alex Cabanas. Now, we were wondering earlier, uh, Coach Ronnie, kung bakit uh, hindi pa naglalaro ang kapitan ng Perlas na si Z. Hervasio. Ayra Pablo just told us uh, that she has been sick for a week. So, hindi, hindi po na maglalaro itong si Z. At yung binabanggit natin ang malaking hamon at magsubok sa ating lahat ng mga teams. Playing a tight skit, quick turnaround, and then you have to always try to uh, come up with peak performance. Right now, si Hervasio is hoping that somehow her teammates will the we're playing well enough here in set two para maitablay itong laban at one set apiece. And Zihar Vasha is averaging 11.8 points per match, Coach Ronnie. Number one local score. Yes, yes. Bago dumating ang mga reinforcements, top gun ito ng Perla Spikers. Ang tagal lang dumating ng winning streak para dito sa Perla Spikers. Eh. But uh, in the first round, I believe they won a total of three matches in five games. Here in round two, they are at two and two. Looking for a third win in the last uh, five games. Para nga makatawid sa semifinals. Good dig pass and then nice save coming from Hashimoto. Difficult angle to work with. Amy Alquero scores para sa black shirts. Tabano setting it up for Kutika. Lunal sumabay doon. Wala naka-coverage. Pumasok sa loob itong si Rakrakin. Subalit yung palong rito ni Dao ay naibalik. That pipe play was defended well Service. by the Perla Spikers and that's why maraming number one dyan ngayon sa ating scoreboard. Patrick Santos, a tweet from him, shout is on fire. Go cool smashers, he's watching all the way from Antipolo. Thank you Patrick. Nako, itong si Nico Chironi, nasa OPC na pa. Ah, overtime. Overtime, pero cheering for his or her lovies, itong uh, Perla Spikers. <laughs> you got this down, sabi ni From Guam, oh, live streaming, si Rowena. Thank you very much, Rowena. Big fan of Eliza Valdez and Amy Ahongbiro. Yeah, shout out sa uh, Sokgang family sa Guam. Kay Cecil and kay James at kay Caitlin uh, Sokgang. Daming, uh, maraming mga Pilipino dyan sa Guam, no? Pati yung mga elected uh, political officials. Purot maraming Pinoy. Si Jesus, pinasa dito kay Hashimoto. Hup, yung yeah, eight breaks eight. down the wall. Down, the down by two earlier. At 11-9, now, now, now they are on top at 13-12. Mas magandang kapit dito para kila Hup, yung yeah, better defense. Ink scoring against eight. the eight. double block. Ginaan yung mas maling na blocker na si Pao Soriano. Laura Shout, a lot of power so, on that attack. The they needed that dial in the last five Good rallies. Apat na nakuha ng Perla Spikers. And right now, we're tied once again at 13 all. Yes, player, Laura Shaw, serving. Grabe itong second set ito, Coach Ronnie. Kayo rin talaga yan. Eh, kasi pag nadulas pa rito ang Perla Spikers, parang makahirap pa katapos. Mahirap pa katatlong sunod na set. Although nagagawa naman, pero sa husay na nilalaro ng Cool Smashers, at kompleto ang kanilang roster ngayon, parang uh, baka mas mahirap magawa yun. Ayan po si Mara Shout, tallest player on the floor, 6'5 from Oregon. Late bloomer pagdating sa volleyball. She only started playing in her third year of high school. Dahil uh, sa report ni uh, Ira Pablo, she first played basketball. Hupia Inc. Dao. Taking that one. Here's Valdez changing her mind in the air. Ahumiro, binigay dito kay Carlos. And Tox Carlos gets the point para sa Perlas. Nagising na rito ang Perlas Spikers. Naintindihan nila na kailangan iangat nila yung antas ng laro nila. Diving, sliding, defending, dig pass. Well enough para kay Tox Carlos. To beat the defense of Dao. Itong si Kaupin. Kaupin may magandang pahala rin sa floor defense para dito sa team nila Aliza Valdez. In their last loss, 16 of 28 sa kanyang excellent day. Meanwhile, a quick attack para kay Aliza Valdez. Tama yan. May tinago si Aliza. Alex Cabanos has definitely played better 
para dito sa team ng Cool Smashers. She has lost a lot of weight, very trim, very fast, and much more confident sa kanyang playmaking ways. Hashimoto, binigay dito kay Bersola. So, Perla showing their version of a quick attack there. Heavy hitter, Kat Bersola, that's off middle. Yung pasang yan, wala sa uno, dinala sa dos. Substitution, Tied at 15. 18 out, 3, Rosses. Rosses, nagbabalik dito para sa Perla Spikers. Nagnanais. Makamit ang puntos na ito to head into the technical timeout on top. Kutika, drop ball. Hupia tried to save Kutika it, could not. The hole. Still the effort the was there. Cool Smashers Greenland. get the point and 15, the lead 16 to 15. Magbabalik ko ang PBL sa SNA. Gomez from South Palok, Manila for Ate A. Miha Ahomiro. Ano po ang usual yung kinakain niyo after the game? At bakit po? Hi! Oh. After the game, I love to eat fruits and drink a lot of water. May kasama pa sa iyo. Amy Ahomiro. Healthy girl. Fruits and water. Parang si Coach Ronnie Magsanok, healthy, healthy eater. Kamote. Service. May blue. So, yeah. Ah, paborito mo to. Ube. Ube. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Charo Soriano and Beatan, the BVR girls. Persona. Quick attack. This time, uh, focusing 17. on management. Galing din ng thrust nila, no? Mga uh, forward thinkers who are mavericks in their own right. Dahil lahat naman ng tao, marami mga galing na ideas. Eh. Pero sila, they execute their ideas. And now, silang proponent ng beach volleyball department. Nahahahaha talaga. They truly believe that the Philippines can become a beach volleyball hub dito sa Asia. And right now, many are saying that si Serondina is one of the top players ng beach volleyball. Eh, lumaki po yan sa Cebu. Sa coastal area, kung di ako nagkakamali. Kaya nga si si yung pangalan niya, di ba? Pangalan ng isang shell sa kanilang uh, lalawigan sa Cebu. We learned that uh, through a feature sa uh, up front at the UAP. Dati ko natututunan dyan eh. <laughs> Dati ko natututunan sa voice over mo ito. Eh. <laughs> so, Mantala. Now on the attack again. Yes, kanina nagkaroon siya ng attack error, ano post. Pero ngayon, bumawi siya, pinabawi ni Alex Cabanos. It's a dead hit dito sa set 2. Perla Spikers playing much, much, much better here. Sa pangalawang set, pero ang Cool Smashers, decidido rin, makadalawang sets. Ang kalamangan, laban dito sa Perla Spikers. Hashimoto, binigay dito kay Tiamzon. Cross court, Rak Rakin. Sakto, Kutika. Good coverage by Rak Rakin. Back set para kay Shao. Nobody home. From the time I saw her play here in Manila, I think that was the highest vertical na nakita ko kay Shao. Ay, napangiti rin siya. Dahil sa sisig, halo-halo at pansit. Deadly combination. That's just two points. Yes, two points. Okay, may nga pa. I really need it. This is gonna take so I just went to the car. So once again, the Perla Spikers players talking amongst themselves with Coach Jerry Yee in the background. This is a practice that Coach Jerry Yee, uh, we've seen from him. Right, that's uh, UAP with the Lady Maroons. Yes, then also an excellent job in propelling uh, the UP Fighting Maroons in the last two years at, at least. Yeah, lang kina post this year, namang kami sa Final Four, but uh, the program has been laid down correctly. Yes. Baga, siyempre, meron kang mga collateral years. Hopefully next year, the seeds have been planted, they will be once again fighting for another semi-final step. Back set para kay Shout. Cabanos, quick attack para kay Bravo. You like the transition from 20, offense to defense 17. and then to offense once again. Rak Rakin, unti-unting natututo sa pwesto niya. Bumoverage. At samantalan sa Pulin Bravo continues to be a thorn on the side of the head defense ng Perla Spikers. 
Mabilis kasi itong si Rakdakin eh. Nakala mo, drawback dahil libera siya, pero mabilis ko nilis. Ang ganda ng footwork at masipag. And si Ricky Aguirre with the Red Lionesses ng San Beda. Kutika, too strong on that hit. Sayang yung pancake dito ni Eliza Valdez. Kutika wanted to go to zone 5. Would not be able to connect. Lead down to 2. 20 points already for the Cool Smashers. Samanda Villanueva, former Lady Falcon like Gemma Galanza, and a Beach Volleyball Republic uh, enthusiast as well. Kapanos, back set para kay Dao. One on one sa pagkakataw na yun. Gupia Inc. is able to snap the door shut. At yung black point na yan ay uh, napaka-importante. Gayong ang kalamangan ay naibaba sa isa. Sanang palawigin kanina ng Cold Smashers. Pero disinibo, determinado na aninuhin itong si Adao. Cabanos, combination play para kay Kutika. Shout! And more a shout! Heating up dito sa set na ito, Coach Ronnie. Bantayado itong si Adao. Cabanos this time, throws it sa open. Kung titignan mo, pineke. So, away kay Colin Bravo. Ella De Jesus was not able to pick that ball in play. Kamangan, muling kumangat sa dalawa para sa Cool Smackers. Hashimoto, pinigay dito kay Ahomiro. Hope you ink that one goes long. And now it's a three-point lead. It's a very crucial stage of the second set. Kaya tayo mag muna si Coach Jerry E. Z. Hervasho's voice there in that huddle and uh, still providing that leadership despite being sick not playing today it was uh, relayed to us by Ira in the information that Z. Hervasho has been sick for a week he has not been fielded in dito sa laban ito Hupia Inc. straight to the net on that attack and the cool smashers pulling away Tako not even the timeout earlier by Coach Jerry. He could stop the momentum. Sir, Pero kung titignan mo, may chance na sila eh. Pero hindi makahakbang dun sa baitang mong hagdan. Four point lead, two points away. Full smasher. Ahupiro gets the point. The effort was there for Lara Shah. But how do you bend a 6-6 frame? Tignan natin yan eh. Shimoto, Ahumiro, andun yung effort eh. But it takes a while for you to really get that low with your damn tall. Hindi po namin problema na yung ton yan. Kami mabilis na. Sa liit. Cabanos, locked by Amy. Cabanos, this time, will set it up for shout. And that ball was called in nung lineman na nandun sa side ng Perla Spikers. That ball was called out nung lineman na nasa side ng Bull Smashers. Eh, mas malapit yung lineman sa side ng Perla Spikers. O kaya tamputos ay binigay dito sa Cool Smashers. Four point lead, eh? There was a little bit of confusion there, but Shout will get the point. Yep. And Solomonic Wisdom para sa ating first referee. Delanza, nice serve. Back on the floor. Ahumiro straight to the net and the Cool Smashers with a two sets to not lead here Stay going for the Perla Spikers. Three. The pressure is on. Laban dito sa Perla Spikers. As we see, a very happy Alan Acero, the sales head of Creamline. And the Cool Smashers lead Perla's two sets to none. Magbabalik po ang PBL Reinforced Conference dito lang sa SNA.